when we first started talking about getting an RV, we decided on a trailer. And Doug said the only trailer that he would have is a fiberglass trailer. We got lucky. We found a 13 foot fiberglass scamp with a bathroom. And we really loved that scamp. It was so cute. And we could pull it with our four cylinder RAV4, which was great. But pretty soon we realized that Casita had an advantage over the Scamp. And there were three things that we really liked about the Casita over the Scamp. And let me tell you, the Scamp, nothing bad about the Scamp. I loved the Scamp. I love the wooden cabinets. That's one thing that we don't have in the Casita. There are three things that the Casita has over the Scamp. The first thing and the most important thing for us was that the Casita has better sleeping arrangements. In the Scamp, we had a full east-west bed. So we were climbing over each other in the middle of the night to get to the bathroom. And that got old really quick. So that's why we purchased the Casita Independence with the two twin beds. And that has worked out so much better for us. So many of the Casita floor plans have options for changing the bed around. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. So the second thing that floated our boat was that the Casita has larger holding tanks. So in our scamp, we had a 12 gallon fresh water, a six gallon black water, and a 26 gallon gray water tank. So one time we ran into a problem where we were at a campground and we didn't have hookups. So the toilet on the scamp, it had gotten so full, it backed up into the vent and started leaking and kind of spewing onto the outside. And so Doug quick hooked up and took it to the dump station, but he was really embarrassed because it was leaking black water the whole way. So that's a big thing to have larger tanks with the Casita. The Casita comes standard with a 16 gallon freshwater tank, but we switched that out pretty quickly and put in a 25 gallon freshwater tank. If you order the Casita, you can order it with the 23 gallon tank. And if you like to stay off the beaten path like we do, it's worth it to get the bigger tank. The Casita gray water tank is 32 gallons and the black water tank is 15 gallons. So quite a big difference. Plus the Casita has the vent that goes stacked onto the roof, unlike the Scamp. If it did overflow, it wouldn't overflow on the ground. It would overflow in the bathroom, which would be also a disaster, but at least it wouldn't be an environmental hazard and really embarrassing. The bigger holding tanks mean that we can stay off the beaten path for longer, which is really important to us because we frequently do not have hookups. We don't prefer to stay at RV campgrounds. I'm not going to say that we never do because when we're traveling with friends, we often do. But when we're by ourselves, we want to be by ourselves. And so we will find uh, dispersed camping along the way. And it's really nice when you're dispersed camping to have those larger holding tanks. So the the third thing that the Casita has over the Scamp is a larger refrigerator and it also has a freezer. So the Scamp had a 1.9 cubic foot refrigerator, really small, and the Casita has a 4 cubic foot refrigerator with a small freezer. So if you want to have ice cream, it's a game changer. It's nice. You can't have ice cream in your Scamp, but you can in your Casita. So one thing that the Casita and the Scamp both have in common is that they have a wet bath. And so that was really important for us in buying a trailer that we wanted a wet bath. So we really love that about the Casita that we have a bathroom. So all the Casita Deluxe models come with a bathroom. That's what Deluxe means. It means it has a bathroom. So let's say you wanted to forego the bathroom because you had kids. You could get bunk beds instead where the bathroom bathrooms are. So that's one thing that's flexible about the Casita and the Scamp. You can get that same configuration in the Scamp. But we really wanted a bathroom, so we're happy to have the wet bath. One of the things that we love about having a small trailer is that we can fit it just about anywhere. Let's say you go to Yosemite where the RV spaces are maximum of 35 feet. We can definitely fit in a 35 foot space. And if we configure our truck, a little bit differently. We can even fit in a smaller space, which is really nice. It's something that you can't do in a larger trailer. Now, if you love going to RV parks and 
you want to be right next to your neighbors and that's the way you want to do it, then a small trailer maybe isn't so important for you. But for us, it was really important for us to be able to fit in really small spaces so that we could go lots of different places. So we could fit in state parks, so we could fit in national park, uh, so we could get in small places dispersed camping and we have been able to fit into some small spaces dispersed camping which is really nice plus we can tow the casita with a mid-sized truck or suv now currently we're towing it with doug's toyota tacoma but before that we were towing it with my toyota venza both of those are six cylinder vehicles now it's not to say that every six cylinder vehicle could tow a casita you really need to check your tow rating because every vehicle has its own towing capacity the the other thing about Casita trailers is while they are not flashy, they are quite economical especially when you compare it to something like an Oliver trailer. So I've read that the current base price for the Casita right now is right around $26,000 or just a little bit under. Of course, this is without all the bells and whistles. Would you like an Oliver trailer instead? You'll be forking out about $57,000 for one of those babies. Nothing against the Oliver, it's just for my money, I'll take the Casita. Another great thing about Casita trailers is that they are narrow. I mean, not overly narrow, but they're narrow enough that you don't need to get mirror extensions. And Doug really likes that. Now, I would really like to have an Escape 23. <laughs> but they are very wide they're like over eight feet wide and the casita is much narrower than that and it just makes it a little bit easier to maneuver when you're driving on the freeway and he really likes that plus it just kind of goes behind you that's the great thing about a small trailer is that you're just going along and it's just back there it just goes wherever you go so the other thing about the Casita is that it's low enough that you don't have to worry about bridges. Um, I mean, we can't go through McDonald's most of the time, <laughs> but we don't have to have an app on our phone just to drive the trailer. We could just use our regular Google Maps or what have you, and we don't have to worry about low bridges or anything like that. And Doug really likes that. I like it too, because it makes it easier for me to when I'm doing the navigation. The Casita, like the Scamp, has an indoor kitchen, and it's really well apportioned for the size of the trailer. We like the twin bed configuration that we have in our independence. And when we're not using the beds, then we have the lagoon table back here that we can use and it makes a dinette. So the thing that I really like about that is I'm not making the bed every day. With the Scamp, if I wanted to have the dinette, I had to take the bed down. So with this, we never have to take the bed down. We just sit on our beds and we eat at the lagoon table. And you would think it would be kind of messy, but it's really not that bad. Yeah, just have to make your bed first. <laughs> if you're interested in the lagoon table or how we installed the lagoon table, then I'll put the link in the description for that video. This setup gives us the flexibility with the twin beds and the dinette. However, if you wanted to make this area into a king bed and forego the dinette, you could also do that. Now the Liberty model, you can configure into two twin beds. You can configure it into a east-west full-size bed, or you can configure it into a north-south king bed. Now, if you do that, obviously you're gonna lose your dinette space. Our friends just converted into the twin-size beds. It makes the twin beds really small, but they're small people anyway, and then they still have their dinette available. I also have a video on that if you wanna check out their Liberty trailer. The other advantage to the Casitas is that they have a really good resale value. Fiberglass trailers in general have a really good resale value and we sold our scamp for more than we paid for it. Don't tell the people who bought it though. The way that the market is right now with trailers and especially with fiberglass trailers, there's such a backlog at Casita right now that used trailers are going for sometimes as much or more than people paid for them. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. If you're interested in seeing more Casita videos, check out this playlist.